Uh, we here at St. Matthew Lutheran Church in Hanover, Pennsylvania, just want to invite you to participate in Holy Week with us. We have lots of different worship opportunities uh, that you can plug into, and so um, we just want to talk a little bit about them. This is Pastor Kathy. And this is Pastor Taylor. And we love working together and our awesome team yeah. of volunteers that make ministry possible here. That is very true. So Palm Sunday already happened. Uh, so that leads us to our next worship opportunity coming up, which is Maundy Thursday. Um, it's on Thursday, which is a great guest. We're going to have a worship service at 7 p.m. here in person. It'll be live streamed as well. Uh, it's a really cool service remembering Jesus' Last Supper and the new commandment uh, that comes out of this scriptural moment. Mm -hmm. And we are going to be celebrating a milestone for some of our kiddos who are uh, partaking in the communion milestone together. So we'll be celebrating with them even as we kind of mark this sort of um, grim occasion too as it has this, this undertone to it. It's a service that will start uh, in person here in the nave and then we will move to the fellowship hall for a meal and come back here um, for the ending that transitions us into the rest of Holy Week. And it's interesting, uh, that's been a tradition here for a number of years to go to the fellowship hall and be around tables yeah. and, then, and then come back and anticipate Good Friday, which is on Friday. Imagine Our that. service <laughs> is at seven o'clock. It's uh, what we call a tenebrae service, the service of shadows. Uh, we will have candles lit and we will be sharing the story of Jesus' death through the Gospel of John. And between the readings, we will also be singing hymns. It's a really meaningful service and an opportunity to just hear the whole story as it, as it happens. Mm. And so, uh, and then at the end of the service, we are reminded that as it becomes dark, the light of Christ remains. Yeah. After Good Friday, um, we sit in Holy Saturday a little bit, uh, and part of the worship experience that we have to offer, that's part of the ancient tradition of the church, is an Easter vigil service. Uh, it's a service that starts with the stories of new life throughout scripture, the stories of God's saving work uh, throughout both testaments, and um, of course ends with Easter. And so we kind of mark the passage from death to life in this one service itself. Um, like anything else, there will be singing and communion and prayer and scripture and preaching and all of those things. Um, and we're gonna have just a little kind of cookie uh, table afterward and so that'll be on Saturday at 5 p.m. Uh, here in person yes and on Sunday at um, 8 30 and at 10 30 we're going to have our Easter festival worship and we it is a, a wonderful celebration as we give thanks and praise for this opportunity to gather for worship and to sing those Easter hymns and to hear the story of the resurrection. And uh, we really hope that you're able to come between services. We're having a continental breakfast in the fellowship mm. hall <laughs> and uh, a time for fellowship. And it will be that kind of faith connection that day where we're connecting over food and at tables. I should add too that we are live streaming the Monday Thursday service, the Good Friday service, and the Sunday morning 1030 Easter service. So whether you are here in person or with us through online worship, we look forward to being in worship together with you. Absolutely. Oh, and there's the Easter garden too. So, you know, you can see that for yourself oh. come Easter Sunday, but there's, that's. Uh, oh, and it is beautiful. That's what I, I did hear. get to see it last year. This is my so. first time. So it'll be a yes. treat for me for sure. Yeah. Oh, and if you have children and you're wondering how are they going to make it through a service? <laughs> 
Pastor Taylor, why don't you tell them about what we have at the 1030 service? Yeah, at our 1030 service, we offer every week, but including including this Sunday for Easter uh, Children's Church. And so um, we will gather around the baptismal font before the scripture readings begin in the nave. And we'll kind of make our way over to what we call the pray ground, um, where we'll hear the same stories, but in more of a kid-friendly format together uh, to kind of uh, engage in that sense. We have some opportunities opportunities for creative play as a response, including like Legos and coloring and Play-Doh, things like that to kind of process these stories of God and God's people. Um, and then we come right back in during the sharing of the piece so that families can be together for the ending of the service and especially for communion. And so at this very important time in the life of the church, we go from this supper together, uh, the Lord's last supper, and lead into the story of his death, which uh, really takes us to the depths of pain and despair and death. Uh, but then uh, as we move into the Easter Vigil and Easter Sunday, we are here to celebrate the joyous resurrection and that Christ truly is alive, alive here in our lives throughout the world.